Well, it started really, I mean, it didn't really start as a festival. It started as a screening of a short film. About a dozen of us got together and made the film and, and screened it at the Tropicana. And in a moment of, you know, excitement, I stood on a chair and said, we're going to have a festival and get me a film by this date. And sure enough, uh, that first ever official Trop Fest, nine people showed up on the night and gave me their tapes. And we watched these nine films and a thousand people showed up and it spilled out on the street and the traffic couldn't get past. So it, it grew from there and, and the next thing you know, we're in Rushcutters Bay Park and within two years, it was 20,000 people there or more. And then I said, well, we're going to the Domain and uh, I think around 99 or 2000, we filled it. And that's really how Tropfest was born. Tropfest has been cancelled this year due to a lack of funding. Tropfest has suddenly been cancelled. Tropfest has been cancelled in what was supposed to be its 24th year running. In early November, if I had to guess, I would have said Tropfest was a thing of the past and we had a great 23 years and there's no more. And then I got the call that I never thought would come and it was from CGU saying, you know, we're an insurance company and um, our tagline is see it through and we want to we wanna see Tropfest through. We have a lot of small businesses that work with us. They've been involved for a dozen years or more. When I first heard the Tropfest had been cancelled, I found it incredibly sad because I thought, well, I'm not going to get to create any more stuff for this brand. When we heard the cancellation, and with the amount of crew involved in it, it was quite difficult. And of course, it does lead to a monetary loss. I don't think people realise the infrastructure required to put these events on, and certainly Tropfest did be become a significant part of our calendar. The idea that these people, a month before, we're being told and having the rug pulled out that there is no trop fest this year, there may never be a trop fest. It was a devastating, devastating feeling. Yeah, that was a tough part for me. Um, you know. For us at CGU, trop fest was about more than just short films. It was about small businesses. And after all John Paulson has done over the years to support them, we were delighted to come on board and help Tropfest see it through.